Hello everyone, it's David here and today we're going to make an arcade push button with a plastic bottle cap. So, to make this we need a plastic bottle cap, a rubber o-ring with inside walls, a push button switch, a soldering iron, a washer, a bit of wire, a proto bar and a wood stick. You will also need a spring with a length equal to the thickness of the bottle cap. And some hot glue to stick everything together. Now I want to explain a bit about this O-ring. As you can see it has a bottom and top inner walls of about 1mm. I got it from a car parts store. The bottom and top walls will contain the plastic cap and the washer in the final assembly. After I got it, I looked for a washer of the same diameter that will fit tight inside it. Now, starting with the assembly, put the washer inside the O-ring. Be sure that it's hitting the bottom wall. Now let's solder the push button switch into the protoboard. And also let's solder a couple of cables to it. Cut the proto bar around the switch carefully, not like I did, and then put it on top of the washer. Now grab the hot glue and fix the protobar on top of the washer. Grab the bottle cap and the wool stick, put the wool stick inside the bottle cap and use its edge to cut a piece of it.
Grab the piece that just cut and put it on top of the washer. To set the top of the switch without pressing it to cut the rest. This will give you the extra length the wood stick must have. Finally, use the hot glue to fix the wood stick inside the ball cap, just at the center of it. Now, before we head to the final assembly, remember to isolate the contacts of the switch from the spring that will be on top of it. For the final assembly, set up the spring on top of the switch and then put on top of it the board cap and secure it putting its edge inside the top walls of the orb. Make a preliminary test by just pressing the ball cap and try to listen to the sound that the switch make when they are pressed. If you don't listen to this, then try to adjust the position of the ball cap inside the o-ring. And here it is guys, all working nicely. As you can see, lighting a left from it. A push button made from a ball cap. Of course, with a couple of extras and the most challenging part is to hit an ring like the one you see here, but it's still useful for homemade projects and to save some money on big buttons. Also, as a way to experiment more and do other kind of buttons with different shapes using the same mechanical principle. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe. Also, check out in the link below our other projects, our games and apps, as well as let us keep doing this awesome content. Thanks for all your support.